Hey, what's going on everyone? Moose here, and today we have another compressor. This is the Vivor, I believe that's how you pronounce it, or Vever. Um, this is a 110 or DC driven compressor, and I, I've had it for a while. And, you know, and, and my apologies to Vever for uh, taking so long, but I really, really did want to put it through its paces. I wanted to see, man, is this thing really, really, really going to do a great job? Is it, you know, kind of one of those one and dones? So I have approximately 50 fills um, on two air guns off of this compressor. Um, I filled the AEA Zeus to 4,500 PSI. I filled um, my Benjamin P-Rod. Um, I've done a few others as well. The uh, um, Cayman up there. Uh, we did the Crate X as well. Uh, and I just utilized the heck out of it. I have used it on my car with the 12 volt. I have used it with AC. And honestly, the thing does amazing. I thought about just filling up a gun to kind of explain to you guys, but you know what? There's a thousand videos out there like that, but I'd rather talk about my experiences. So one thing I do add to these things quite often is an external um, water separator, water oil separator. However, this one came with one and it was robust enough that I didn't feel like I needed to upgrade. Um, the actual um, device itself. Uh, you can actually put this on either way. Um, I generally um, run mine on this end. I know some people like to run them this way. The only reason that I generally don't run it this way is because if in fact this gets bumped, it could snap this nipple or create a weak spot over time that would make it unreliable or leak or potentially even blow off. Uh, so I've always had a tendency to run them on the uh, fill end itself. Um, like I said, I have had zero issues with this. I would say I did time this. It took approximately four and a half minutes uh, on my Benjamin Marauder P-Rod uh, to fill the gun from 100 bar back up to its full uh, potential. So... I, I mean, honestly, it does very well. It's very quick, and that was off the DC end. Um, the temperatures stayed right in range. It is a um, maintenance-free system, uh, other than changing out the filters in here. Um, on the front here, we do have a fan. So here, I, I can actually demonstrate that. Let me, let me demonstrate it since we're right here. Kind of show you guys hopefully this doesn't pop my circuit over here if it does well this video is going to cut short um <laughs> it shouldn't we hope so when you initially plug it in um it does um, start the small internal fans uh so what will happen next is you hit fan down here it'll spin these two fans up here you'll hear them come up to speed you can hear that? And then you simply press the compressor button and the compressor comes on. You hit the compressor button again, it will shut off. You can then turn the fans off. It also has auto stop feature, so you can adjust your, um, your compressor to shut off on its own. Um, and then you have your typical uh, bleed valve. So you just crack that open, all your air bleeds out now your line's safe to disconnect so i do want to say thank you very much to vever for or trusting me to review this i can tell you honestly this one is right up there with any other decent compressor high-end compressor that i've had yet it does function perfectly i've had zero issues with it uh pumping up air guns to 4500 psi 300 bar or you know anything lower than that it just chugs along and uh, doesn't give me any hiccups. I have yet to have it shut off prematurely. Um, anything along those lines. Uh, they, there is, I believe, a um, turn off time that they do recommend. I think it's, uh, you, can, you can run it for, I don't remember the exact time. I do apologize, but I'll stick it in the description down below. 
and uh, you guys can read it there. But I wanted to get this review out because I've had enough time now to review this, and I'm glad that you guys stopped in. Thanks again. If you guys are interested in this, there will be a link in the description down below. This is simply an air compressor. It has nothing to do with firearms or anything else. It is a air compressor. So, description in the link down below. Click on that. Go ahead and order yourself one and know that uh, you're going to get a really good quality piece of equipment. Uh, I also did test their customer service. I sent them an email and got an email back relatively quickly within a day. Um, you know, they sometimes work in different time zones. It is what it is. Uh, but I had no issues receiving a message back. Um, and you, like I said, you know, I, I would totally trust uh, running Vever. So with that being said, I'm Moose. Till next time, be good to each other. And God bless.